Hi Scorpio, this is your August monthly reading. There will be a mid-month and in between the, the, the general and the mid-month uh, I will be doing the finance or the romance readings as I'm not getting enough hits on the long versions. And YouTube is also pushing the shorts. So here we go. You will find the link. Uh, oh no, that wasn't the short. You will find the link to the long version. Okay, so I, I hope you like this change because I do want to maintain quality and not quantity. You come in with the Emperor. If you haven't seen the short yet, the Emperor means you could be dealing with an Aries or you could be seeking advice from a professional or uh, somebody that you love, trust and that is mature. Also, this can be Aries person, but also Aries time. Number four means stability and productivity. So perhaps you need um, advice to maintain the stability and productivity uh, at this moment to keep on moving on towards your goal. If not, um, there is some good news about this because perhaps you might need advice about a new beginning or to uh, reunite or reconciliate with somebody from the past as you've got judgment. In some uh, decks it's called the rebirth. So this means that a stronger version is uh, of you uh, is coming out. You're the phoenix rising from the ashes. This is also a moment that Archangel Gabriel um, is protecting you. Usually you see Archangel Gabriel, but here you see the snake. And the snake means that he is um, coming out of his old skin, going into new uh, a new face, a new life, a new skin. He's getting bigger and more powerful. Look at the bursts of energy. It takes a lot of energy to change skins, I know, but this also represents the end of a phase and a new beginning. Yes, you might be re reconciling with somebody, um, but I don't believe you will be um, uh, easy uh, to be... Uh, uh, it won't be easy for anybody to uh, make you think um, the same way as them and wanting the same thing because like I said there is a stronger version of you coming out you will take a time out to think about it because you're very very busy and I'll come to that card in a minute but you're very busy you're a stronger version you're taking on more uh, jobs or uh, investments than you ever had because you don't want to be left in the lurch like you have been in the past perhaps you want to protect yourself you want to cover yourself so that you will never be without money again now here you are this is a new beginning so this could be a new investment remember if you are doing a new investment please do the research and if you are signing official papers um, then read the small print, get it checked out by an advisor. That's why he's here in your reading. This could be the second week of uh, August that you could be getting an offer. This is usually the hand that comes from the clouds. In this case, it's the lotus flower coming uh, into the clouds. And in you, the owl means wisdom and you're landing on your feet. Look, he's ready to land uh, and money is above him. So definitely something that something uh, or someone is coming in for long term. Perhaps they want to reconciliate. If this is not a romance, this could be a business partner. Well, uh, you might need to seek advice and get this business partner, the credentials checked over whether he is uh, keeping to his word. He or she might say, I've changed and I've, I am uh, more powerful than before and I've learned from the past and blah, 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 blah. Don't let anybody pull the wool over your eyes. Get it checked out. Double check and check. 
Okay, so this is an offer. Be careful. This is for long term with tangibility and durability. It's like the King of Pentacles. He does his research and he checks things out to make sure that it is as sound as a pound. Okay, so definitely get things checked out. You don't want to fall into the same trap as you had before. So don't let anybody pull the wool over your eyes. You could be dealing with um, a, a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. It could also be Virgo time because we are go leaving Leo in two weeks and we'll be going into Virgo. We've also got the Page of Pentacles, so this could be between the time of Virgo and Capricorn, if it isn't a Capricorn person. Now, like I said here, you are a stronger person and you're protecting yourself. You don't want to be without love, you don't want to be without money, so you have invested yourself in many different pies and i'm hearing somebody saying you've got your finger in many pies in love in money in investments perhaps in a house um you want uh, uh sustainability if that's sustainability if that's the right english sorry you want something that is secure guaranteed stable like a house a relationship so definitely you've been building on your past uh, experiences and you've learned from them. You've got a stable life now, perhaps alone, and you're, you might be ready to actually take on somebody new. But are you ready to take somebody on from the past? Remember, a fox changes his fur but not his habits. He learns new tricks, so definitely... Um, with this snake in the card and with reconciliation they might have changed their skin like you and you are a stronger version because you learned from the past but remember a snake has got a split tongue so be careful this person could have a split tongue they can tell you beautiful stories it will glitter and it will be successful and there will be a lot of money blah 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 like bitcoins you can do this, you can do that, but it always comes down to failure. Everything that glitters isn't gold. So believe in your own projects. I definitely think you might be receiving news about one of your projects that is making money, right? Okay, so between Virgo and Capricorn, you will have... Uh, uh, several times of harvesting I'm hearing you also have the eight of pentacles your hard work and your determination um, is going to pay off this is a wage rise this is a promotion this could be that if you've got your own co uh, company that you could be getting more clients uh, you might be the advisor to other people you might have become the professional because of what you learned and experienced in the past definitely uh, this could be a prom uh, completion and uh, promotion on uh, your investments in other words you could be harvesting your investment investments between Virgo and Capricorn after all it is autumn and in the autumn we harvest amazing now the card the last card that you've got here is clarity everything will become clear to you once you have this news about one of your fingers in a pie seeing and feeling the truth you will get the tr to the bottom of things especially if you get a um, an investigator private investigator or if a lawyer or an advocate especially an advocate uh, can uh, they have ways and means to get into the truth whether somebody is uh, not on the blacklist and if they have made a uh, 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 success of themselves so if a business partner comes in and ex-business partner comes in and claims that he is a great success then get him checked out with through an advocate 
or a lawyer, they can go into search banks and they can find out whether they are successful, loyal, honest and etc. paying the tax etc. You don't want to go uh, back to the past to the negativity. I hope this reading has helped you and if not just take the um, the messages from the reading that resonate with you whether it's general love or romance or business or career have a wonderful week and i hope to see you in the life take care bye bye